have you learned from this whole journey you've been on that you know that you might carry with you on to future projects? Uh, yeah, being an entrepreneur sounds cool, but uh, it's actually not that cool. <laughs> um, like my family, uh, my family comes from a line of, you know, entrepreneurs, but never digital. So they always wonder, like, why are you doing this? And they don't understand that you can do things on the Internet. So that's also a challenge that. I have to face um, because they have a more traditional business. My mom runs, uh, uh, she does real estate. She, um, she basically buys really old property. She spruces them up and then she rents them out. And my father, he runs a Taekwondo studio. So he has like a whole bunch of chains of people who teach Taekwondo and for them, they run their own business. So they understand like the values of being your own business, but they don't really understand like what the internet is all about. And they don't understand that uh, they're like, oh, if you like education, why don't you just be a teacher then? Or you can teach at the Taekwondo studio and like run your own academy or something like that. Yeah. And I mean, that's a completely feasible option. I could do that really easily. I can just go over there. We have the space, we have the resources. I can open up a school if I wanted to, and it would be no problem almost. Um, but the thing is like with digital, you have so much more opportunities. You can really affect not just, you know, your 100 students in front of you, but like it can be a tool to really impact uh, students all over the world, thousands like, and make them actually like writing maybe and make them actually like doing things that are not just, you know, watching Netflix or uh, being passive because the, the end goal is to really engage students to be active in their learning and not to just watch a video, fill out a, you know, a quiz with a multiple choice and then submitting it and saying, oh, I learned something. Our, our end goal is to really have students become participants into um, a more, this connected world that we have and feel like they're you know, being part of a community, because when you create a story, you publish a story, all of a sudden your story is not your story. Your story is the accumulation of maybe 10 artists, five musicians, and you're like the director of the entire project. And uh, being part of that is like what we really want to focus on. And I think the hardest thing about being an entrepreneur is like too often you go down the wrong road because you think something Something seems good at that time and you develop it and you develop it and then you realize, oh, no, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done that. And you have to you have to make a turn and maybe just scrap everything that you've done. And at that point, it's really, really challenging to really, you know, bring yourself up and be like, OK, should I continue doing this? And, you know, always have to find something to tell other people like, oh yeah, I'm doing my project that I've been, you know, doing for the past two years that hasn't really done anything. Or should I just, you know, go find a job, make money, go on vacations and, you know, be able to go out to eat. <laughs> so it's like very mundane things like that. That's like really challenging about being an entrepreneur, I feel. And the things I've learned is, uh, yeah, sometimes even when it's hard, it's, it's really a choice of, you have to really make a decision about what your core values are and what you really prioritize. And that's really hard because too often we want everything in the world. And unfortunately that's impossible. You can't have everything in the world. You're not, you don't have that opportunity to have everything. You have to make difficult choices. And um, yeah, I think for me, it's uh, learning that you have to make difficult choices. Sometimes it's okay to screw up and you will screw up. Because if you don't screw up, I, I don't know, you must be God or something. <laughs> well, I also think through from the mistakes, that's where we have our biggest learning like curve. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Like I told you, um, we didn't know anything about coding when we first started. So you could imagine the types of twists and turns we did before we have our website as it is today. Yeah. Um, and uh, things like, you know, technology changes so fast. So... For example, at the beginning of when we were building the website, uh, we like the technology that we're using now didn't even really exist back then. So <laughs> to learn um, to learn really quickly is also something that we have to pick up on and be able to, you know, iterate and just 
just try to improve every time. So I don't know. <laughs> That's just a. You should be incredibly proud of yourself for what you've been creating, because. Uh, well, thank you. It's uh, it's well, it's an amazing. I mean, it's I got really excited when I saw what you're building, but then I also like. There's the other part of me as I listen to your story too, and it's just, <laughs> it's it's an awesome and it's an inspiring story. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's it's kind of difficult for me because like uh, I always like to compare myself to like my mother, for example, and um, <laughs> it's really it's really hard for me <laughs> as like an individual to always be like, yeah, maybe I'm just not good enough <laughs> or something. You're, yeah. you are, you are more than good enough. You're amazing. And